Thank you, Taylor. Now I'm joined by reporter Megan Glover, who has covered the Raging Cajuns throughout this season. And Megan, what a journey UL has been on. What a journey, Seth. The Cajuns had their mind on this moment since falling to Georgia State in the championship game last season. UL was the eighth seed, and they went on a Cinderella run there before knocking off UT, Arlington, Texas State, and Troy. Now, it's not easy getting back to the big game, but this year they worked their way back brick by brick, getting the lick back against Georgia State, staying on the at home and landing as the number two seed in the Sun Belt Tournament, the Holy Trinity to a successful Louisiana gumbo. We just took it one by one and uh, really started in uh, Asheville. I was winning the first championship and I believe Coach Marlin said the last team that won the uh, Asheville Tournament here, they won the, uh, the conference tournament. We did the same thing, you know, we passed, uh, we did, made a lot of history this year and I'm glad that I came here. It was a great decision. Now, Seth, as you remember last year's tournament run, unfortunately, it was a tough moment for Cajuns head coach Bob Marlin, who unfortunately lost his mom before the Cajuns punched their ticket to the title game. Now, Marlin did not come back to uh, Lafayette on the bus with the team, but I did speak with some guys from last year's team who talked to me about what it was like in that moment for them, but how big this year was winning for him. 